from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for July 13th, 2016. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look at the EUR USD, the Euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, a recap of a couple of the trades we have been taking over the past few days. Starting here with the USD CHF, we were looking for a buy scenario, a buy scenario on the breakout of what was resistance as it push, began to push higher towards the next resistance level. Actually, if we take it down here to the four hour time frame, it's really going to give us a much better outlook here. We were looking at this area in the in between the purple and the orange shaded area here. The buys on the dips into the 98.10 level were what we were looking for and the rally back to the blue shaded area. We knew what the risk was. The risk was a break underneath the orange shaded area. So we took a buy into the orange zone. As it pushed into the purple zone, we closed profit yesterday during the trade room we've moved the stop loss in to break even or better into profit so can't lose on the trade we've closed some of the, most of the profit we've closed uh, we've moved the stop loss into profit can't lose on the trade but the main focus was buying on the dips to support the orange zone rallying towards the purple zone the next thing we're of course looking for here for the frank is the breakout above the purple zone if it's going to continue the trend direction a break of the purple zone we'll call that 98.85 and the continuation higher for the US franc. A couple of other things we were looking at yesterday was the sell on the AUD USD and the NZD USD, New Zealand dollar and the Australian dollar. Here on the AUD USD, we saw the market turn into the green shaded area, 76.40 or so. We went ahead and took a short there. We knew that the last time it was here, it found resistance. We were in a pretty significant resistance high into the mid 7600s. Took the sell there. The market went all the way down to the pink shaded area, seeing a decent amount of profit all the way down into the pink zone, about 50 pips or so of profit as it pushed down there into the upper 7500s. Now it's come back up, closing us out at our locked in profit. We did have a chance to lock in some profit here and uh, it's taken us out of the trade. So out of this one at the current moment, but it was a profitable trade to sell from the green zone down to the pink zone here on the Australian dollar. Similar situation over here on the NZD USD, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. We've been studying the resistance high. Really just take a look at your two ovals up here, the red circles at the very top of the chart. Resistance here, resistance here. We've been selling this currency pair. Yesterday had an opportunity to go short on the New Zealand dollar, had profit all the way back down from the pink sh shaded area all the way down to the green zone, 45, 50 pips of profit. Moving stop losses in the profit was a good idea. It came back up, took us out and now we're having another opportunity as it pushes towards the pink zone and the 7300 level I'm, I've jumped in this once again I know during the trade room yesterday I, I mentioned the fact that I might not look for an opportunity to get back in this on even on another rally to the pink zone but uh, it's just too hard to resist this significant resistance we're seeing right around that 7300 level so I've jumped back in right at 7300 looking for the market to turn back down towards the green zone I know what the risk is the risk is a break back above the pink zone so I'm going to be quick to get out of it if it breaks through the pink shaded area here. Uh, I don't want to stay in it too long. So holding inside our pink zone or underneath it is the idea for the day today. Looking forward to head on back down towards the green zone, 72.50 or lower on the way back down and potential reversal here for the New Zealand dollar. And anything above, we'll call it really 73.30, which is the top of our pink shaded area. If it gets above 73.30, probably don't want to stay in it too long. I only have about a 45 pip stop loss on it, so uh, not a lot of risk going here on this current trade. All right, moving on over to the Euro dollar. I've uh, been studying opportunities to look for uh, going short here on the Euro dollar, going short on rallies into resistance. I've been looking at this as somewhat of a consolidation pattern or even a development of a triangle pattern. You can see the falling highs here along this black trend line. You can see the, the rising lows along this black trend line. So you can see somewhat of a triangle pattern developing after the Brexit candle, of course. We've seen this consolidation type pattern going on. So with that type of pattern, the best times to sell or go short within that pattern in agreement with the, the previous momentum would be on rallies into the top of the pattern, the top black trend line, and the resistance levels within the top of that pattern. So that's what I'm looking for. The green zone specifically, 111 to 111.25 is where I am looking for those opportunities to go 
short. Let's take it on down to the four hour time frame. Again, we could see that same similar pattern, the, the two black trend lines here on the four hour time frame. And again, we're coming up towards the green shaded area today. As close as possible to 111 would be our opportunity to go short. We know what the risk is at that point. The risk is would be a break above the green zone, above 1125. We wouldn't want to stay in it too long, likely heading on back up here towards 112 if it gets through the green shaded area. So if it gets through there, we'd want to get out of it. So let me just pull that pink shaded area over a little bit as well. That becomes our next resistance level, and that's not too hard to see. That's what happened back here. So underneath the green zone will be our short opportunity here for the euro dollar today targeting back towards uh 1050 1060 that's the yellow zone even down towards the blue zone which is one uh 110 uh and if we can break underneath the triangle pattern underneath the blue zone i think we're looking for a challenge and test all the way down to the multi-year or multi-month lows down here into the 109 level the orange shaded area break underneath there we could even look for further movement lower so uh significant uh pattern setup here uh the trade setup here is is selling resistance the risk of course is the break above that resistance you know here's your risk a breakout above the green zone that little line there represents a potential stop loss let's change it to red just so it looks more stop like uh, so a red that red line there representing your stop loss somewhere above the 111.25 level how high above it depends on your own personal risk parameters but selling as close as possible to 111 looking for the market to turn lower once again for the euro dollar today from Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.